I have been summoned. This question was asked on Sophia the Jew's page and a lot of people were tagging me because I am an Orthodox Jew who doesn't cover my hair. Sophia talks about this and Alyssa and Miriam and Sipora, they all cover their hair, but they call it a choice because that's what it is. I mean, the truth is in Judaism, everything's a choice. Even when something's a law, God also gave us free will to make the choice to follow the laws. So with hair covering, they make the choice to cover their hair as an Orthodox Jewish married woman, and I make the choice not to. Also, hair covering isn't actually a Torah law. It's a law that was created based on the Torah, but it's not actually a commandment from God. I'm not telling anybody else if they should or shouldn't cover their hair. It's just the personal choice that I make. And in my family, my mom never covered her hair. Neither of my grandmothers did. My sisters don't cover their hair. My sister-in-laws don't. We're definitely considered modern Orthodox. Although that term's kind of made up. So like people can call themselves modern Orthodox. I have friends who cover their hair who say they're modern Orthodox. I consider myself modern Orthodox because I don't cover my hair and I wear pants like I'm not super modest. The Hebrew word is sneas. I'm not sneas when I dress, but I follow the laws of Shabbos and I follow the laws of family purity and I follow the laws of keeping kosher. Those are the three main pillars of Orthodox Judaism. And while in some Jewish communities, everyone covers their hair and if you don't cover, you're judged for it. In my community, there's so many people who do cover and so many who don't. And anybody who judges me, they're none of my business.